Hello there, so today I'm very excited to bring you this video because this is actually something I've been requested to do a lot. I'm always getting asked if I can provide um, resources like classes or videos or websites that will help in learning more about art and how to do certain things. And there are a handful of places that I've actually used and loved myself in the past. And just as I was planning on making this video, one of the companies I was going to suggest called Skillshare actually got in contact with me and asked if they could sponsor a video. They felt, as I did, that the resources they provide on their website would be of great aid and guidance to you guys. They have thousands of classes on their website, and the thing is, a lot of the classes are actually taught by trained professionals in the field as well. For example, in this video, I drew myself as a Disney princess, because one of the classes I took on Skillshare was actually taught by an ex-Disney animator who was teaching you how to do all of the Disney princess proportions. So I've teamed up with Skillshare for this video so that I can provide you with some more information on their amazing resources and how it can help. So I found this hidden gem of a class which turned out to be made by an ex-Disney animator who worked on princesses like Pocahontas and Mulan. So throughout the entire class he was basically teaching me how to draw a Disney princess uh, how to draw their proportions, how he drew their proportions in both the face and the body. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to draw myself as a Disney princess. The artist is Tom Bancroft and he developed this technique called the odd eight, which is like a long stretched out eight. Um, and you can create a torso in virtually any position using this. So once I'd finished the class, I spent the entire afternoon sketching out characters in different positions, which is something that was so much easier to me after learning that. One of my New Year's resolutions was to start drawing more original characters. Um, so this gave me a really great start and I'm still so new to creating these kind of characters. So it's by no means perfect, but for having that odd eight technique in mind, it definitely made it so much easier to, to, to kind of develop this type of character. I was really excited to be able to share this video with you because if I ever get any opportunities to share new or exciting things with you guys, I jump on it if I think it will genuinely be of help to you or I've used it in the past. Um, and being someone who has used Skillshare in the past for things like web design and hand lettering, I know how genuinely helpful it is to spend an afternoon learning new things. What I like is that I can find anything I want on there and get some really decent advice. All the classes are only like an hour or two long on average, so it's very easy to kind of squeeze the time into a busy schedule, like in, sitting there in an afternoon for example. What's so great about Skillshare is that anyone can make a class, which means that a lot of the featured classes are actually taught by trained professionals in the industry. So you're basically learning tips and tricks from the professionals who really know what they're doing. Skillshare has like 13,000 classes in virtually everything you can think of, like photography, design, and a large part of them are actually art related, like watercolouring, illustration, painting, sketching, basically anything you can think of. Um, and I've saved so many classes that I want to take over the next few weeks that it's ridiculous. Skillshare is usually around $10 a month for the premium membership, but they've actually given me a link to share with you all to get Skillshare for 99 cents for three months, which is an incredible deal because they both know, as I do, that these classes will really help you guys. Um, and I just cannot recommend them high enough. And I don't think this offer is going to last very long, so definitely jump on it while you get the opportunity. Tom was actually saying how important it is to draw in very loose shapes and I found this to be really helpful in regards to creating the movement. He finished his piece in digital form but I thought it would be fun to kind of mix things up a bit and do it with watercolour. So <laughs> I went to be crazy because I've not used watercolours before but I love blues and greens so I thought it made sense to make my princess dress in those colours. And my hair was really difficult too because I struggle with hair anyway but he gave some great advice on hair and I managed to somewhat get it down even though it's definitely not perfect. Anyway, that's it from me this week. I'd love to see if you try this class too. I'll definitely leave a link to this particular one in the description because it's really, really great. Um, so yes, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.